Hey what's up everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got the gameplay and the details for the RN Avier, the ship that no other content creator wants to cover. That's right, this is a rank 3 4.0 BR ship that is a lesser version of a ship already in game. But the trade-off is that it's a slightly lower BR, so I guess that's kind of cool, right? So the RN Avier is basically the RN Corazier? Kaz Corazier? I'm not really entirely sure. Anyways, the main difference here is that the Avier has a slightly less uh, lower amount of guns. So this has four cannons uh, spread across two turrets. So four 120 millimeter cannons, whereas this has those same two turrets plus an additional one. So it's got five cannons in total. Plus, it has slightly different torpedoes. So that's something I'm not sure if they mentioned it in the uh you know in the dev blog and it also has more crew but um i'm not really sure if it's something that they mentioned in the dev blog but these torpedoes can go 89 kilometers per hour and when maxed out with torpedo mode you have 10 kilometers of distance at around what 83 kilometers per hour or 84 i believe it is which isn't too bad it's about average ish a little bit low on the range but not too terrible especially for a destroyer that can kind of move quickly now this has 13 kilometers range, but a maximum speed of 44 kilometers per hour with the same exact explosive mass. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's pretty much a total downgrade. Even the torpedoes aren't as good. I wouldn't have minded if the torpedoes were, eh, you know, so to speak, if they were decent, but they are just ridiculously slow in this. And uh, I mean, you could outpace them uh, in most ships. You could easily outpace them, which really doesn't create too much of a challenge. It's got an okay fire rate. Nothing too insane. Eight rounds per minute. Pretty standard. Um, you know, you have 20, you have 1.63 kilograms of explosive force. 1.3, though, however, with their fully uh, armor-piercing shells, which is pretty decent. So you're going from 21 millimeters of pen to 154 at max. And you keep most of the armor pen or most of the explosive filler so it's pretty decent not a terrible ship you're getting about 65 kilometers per hour top speed not bad not great decent anti-air nothing special but it is a rank three which does make it usable for future events and tasks and things of that nature so that being said let's get into a match i'll probably just play some arcade just because naval arcade is better in my opinion but naval realistic is probably about the same they're very similar game modes. Uh, it's not like tank arcade and realistic or air. Naval arcade and realistic, pretty similar. So that being said, let's get into it. <laughs> okay, he's 6.6 .6 kilometers away. Okay, I hate how that... It's like, oh yeah, no, you're going to touch down in like two seconds. That's the modern day naval uh, prediction. Anyways, let's see. Six kilometers away. Seven seconds. That's not very good. Uh, these shells lose a lot of velocity, I take it. It's almost kind of what it sounds like. Uh, pretty pretty quickly. Um, and it really stinks being that you only have four cannons rather than the five. And they're not even great cannons. But it is what it is. Now it's 12 seconds. Okay. Okay. Let's see what makes it 12 seconds. Will I... Well, I probably won't hit. Nope. Okay. I won't hit. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go get Klaus. I'm down for killing Klaus. Let's do this. Okay. That was not very good. Come on. Let's go, Klaus. Maybe a little bit too forward. Maybe not. Okay. I hit him. Nice. Look at that. That's expert marksmanship right there, guys. Okay, we got ourselves a USS Porter. Let's see if I can scratch him. I can hit both sides of him, but not him. Okay. Go take out Klaus. He's the biggest threat to my existence right now. Klaus? Did I say Klaus? I meant Klaus. 
Let's hope that I can fire around that rock. If I can't, ah! It's gonna be the shot of the century right there if I actually made that. But I didn't. Thus, it's not. Okay. Got ourselves the USS Porter in sight. Now we also have Klaus in sight. Let's see if I can kill Klaus. Nope, I can't kill Klaus. Man! Now I can kill Klaus. Because the because <laughs> it's low enough. Can I hit him? I can't hit him. Man, this is the worst display of naval marksmanship I've ever seen. And I'm the one conducting it. Whatever. Let's get serious for a second here. Okay, Klaus died. Predictable, if you ask me. Klaus was always getting into trouble. Oh, what? What the hell? Always getting into trouble. You know how Klaus is. Okay, I'm gonna pull up, do myself a broadside here. See if we can get this. I'll probably move fast enough. I'm gonna equip my smoke screens. I don't feel like being attacked. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's see how wildly inaccurate I can make these shots. I don't feel like being attacked from behind. Okay, I got myself the leopard right there. Nice, I got hits. Leopard sinking. USS Porter right there. Sad jabroni, if you ask me. Got him. Okay. Now this is how we do it, guys. This is not how we do it, guys. I got the torpedo impact. Did I get two torpedo impacts? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter when your ship is made out of tin cans. Oh my gosh. Come on, Italy. What are you doing? Then again, my fire control skill. Oh, God. Ugh. <laughs> my fire control skills can really take some uh, betterment. Anyways, let's get into the next match. I mean... Once you play one match in naval, you play them all, and uh, unfortunately, it's uh, naval is kind of long-winded. So, anyways, let's get into the next match. Okay, let's get into match number two, and hopefully, something that I feel is the last match. Oh my gosh, this is how slow the torpedoes are. It's projecting that I have to fire this far out in order to hit this guy. That's absolutely ridiculous. Like, that is just totally unrealistic for them to expect that I'm going to fire my torpedoes that far out and he's not going to make any course changes between now and then. Everything about this ship between the reload speed, kind of, the torpedoes, um, how fast the, the shells move and all that, it, it, with the exception of the speed, everything about this thing is slow. Like, look at that. If I'd fired my torpedoes out there, they'd be they'd miss them by like 15 kilometers. I mean, not 15, but by a substantial amount. Because he just made a, a course change, as anyone would have. And there you go. So now I'm, I'm kind of, because it's a naval arcade, I can kind of fire all my torpedoes into one area. And that'll be that. Come on. Ah, I got kind of close. But this thing also doesn't have a ton of torpedoes to make up. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Ah, oh, come on, man. To make up for the lack of, um, whatchamacallit, speed. Am I going to hit him? Just off the bow. Oh, come on, man. Man, my gunnery like i'm so used to german heavy cruisers that just to get kind of used to like these lesser ships if you will is not an easy process let me tell you it is not as easy as oh 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 come on what the heck 
I'm like missing them by like a quarter inch each. Like I'm... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Manja, manja. Really? Okay, let this be known, guys, that I'm not missing. The game is. Hashtag uh, make navel better. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm missing a little bit. But I'm not taking responsibility for it. I'm going to be like every... T oh my gosh, I just lost 10% of my crew in like three quarters of a second. What? 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 Thankfully, Naval's at such a point where I can post this gameplay and do terrible and not feel ashamed about it because, eh, let's face it, it still feels kind of like it is in beta. So, I don't really feel terrible about doing terribly. And I'm not really ashamed if I don't do well, especially on a ship that has absolutely zero armor. Ooh, let's see what can hit me now. Okay, that was a terrible... That was a batch. Oh, God. Okay, let's gas. Ah, smoked up and... They still hit... They can see me? I'm joking. Let's get into the next match. The next one's going to be my last. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, again, albeit I can do a little bit better. Don't get me wrong, but it's like, good luck, man. <laughs> good luck. If you spawn by yourself by accident and you're in a destroyer, good luck. Anyways, next match. So there's a very important uh, statement for me to say. I'm not the only person uh, playing naval. Especially amongst content creators, uh, you know, it just sometimes feels that way that uh, You know, it, it's not that I'm not aware of other content creators. It's just We're they're so few and far between So I mean this is not my main thing. I don't really play naval much I more or less just kind of report on these things as Gaijin kind of gives them to me to report um, But beyond that that's really my interaction with this level of naval. I like playing top tier German naval, that's a ton of fun. But um, insofar as mm, regularish naval is concerned, eh, I could go, I could give or take. You know, it's it's not really necessary to me. Um, I have a good amount of fun in it. But um, yeah, okay. Let's see. We got ourselves a uh, dirty boy. Oh jeez, I'm already being hit. Uh, what? Who is hitting me? Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! I hate the fire control systems. What? Okay, I'm going to start putting this fire out in a second. Just a second, once I've taken this off. There we go. That's what you should always go, at least in so far as what I think, fire. But I'm going to probably be told otherwise. Someone's going to be like, but Tankenstein, why are you so stupid? You don't go fire first. You do this first. Well, you're probably right. Oh, wow. There's only one HE-111 here. Oh, wow. Let me guess. He has a torpedo. Great. So he hit the, hit the front of my ship. Buoyancy is critical. And, uh, yeah. So I'm not sinking yet. He only hit the very front of my hull. So I'm still here. Um, still alive somehow. That's the power of the Italian Navy. They only get destroyed by bombs that drop through the deck. Not, uh, whatever's happening to me right now. Oh, jeez. This is really bad. This is really bad, guys. Uh, okay. Things are starting to take a turn for the worse. 
I am now... I don't know if I can even control my ship. No, I can't. Oh, he's coming back for a second run. Let's... I'm gonna smoke up. Yeah, I'm not getting out of this one. No way. <laughs> oh, but wait, 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 wait. Did all my... Did all my torpedoes just miss? Oh, uh, my... I got the hit! I got the hit! That was not a complete loss. Anyways, I'm kind of just tired of playing naval. You know, I, I think most people get tired of it. It's not that I don't enjoy it. It's that I really don't enjoy playing destroyers through about 5.0 light cruisers, which just so happens to be the only thing that Gaijin is giving us as of right now. So, uh, yeah, that's just not fun to me. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure. It's I don't think the Avier is a bad ship. If it was 4.0 or 4.3, I'd say it would be really bad. But as a 4.0, eh, it's not bad. And it helps the fact that it does have a... Um, uh, that it does have, you know, four cannons and all that. It, it's not a terrible ship. My only main concerns with it are that, yeah, it does have the, the one fewer cannon. It has not good reload. And, worst off, the torpedoes are awful. I mean, they are easily dodgeable. I'm really surprised that that guy was able to uh, not dodge them. Or not able to dodge them. Anyways, thanks again, guys. And, uh... I will see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone, and, uh, well, hasta luego.